Hi, I'm Peter Kernström of Kernström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you three different ways of getting notified about changes in a list. In this case, it's IT Tickets, which is a regular SharePoint list based on the Issues List template. And the first type of notification is the alerts, where you can get an alert me on items or the entire list. So if you have a specific item, I'm going to just create a new item here. I'll just buy fruit is an issue we need to deal with, like that. So if you select that item, I'm going to stop editing. There we go. Select that item and then alert me on the items tab here. You see you can set alert on a specific item. And that gives you this dialog, which uh, allows you to specify the title and uh, the users who are going to get that. Now, since I'm a site collection admin, I can actually assign alerts to other people too. If you're not a site collection administrator, then you're not allowed to do that. Uh, but of course, everybody can do this for themselves, but you're not allowed to assign alerts unless you're a site collection admin. You can, of course, get the alerts by email, which is the default. And if you have the text messaging service set up, which I don't in this case, you can get a text message sent out also. And these are options are, of course, very important. You can send alerts when anything changes, someone else changed the items, these kind of different things. And this, of course, combined with views is very important. My issues, active issues. So in this case, I'm just going to leave any changes on this particular item. And you usually want the notification immediately, but if you're trying to minimize the clutter in your inbox, then you might want to have a daily summary or even a weekly summary. For a daily summary, then you can set the time when you want that summary. On uh, the weekly, then you can send both the day and the hour when you want the summary. So quite a lot of options there for alerts. That's for the item. Now, I should get an email very shortly. I'm going to click here and open my mail. This is very useful. Open a new tab. I should get an email now that I have an alert on this item created. There we go. You successfully created an alert for IT tickets by fruit. So now if I change something in this, I'm going to edit that item and I'll change that to more fruit, buy more fruit, save. And in a few seconds now I should get another email. Let's remove these ones that I already have there to keep it clean and in a few seconds I should get an alert on the other change also. There we go. There's really no way to control when these gets sent out but they're usually sent out rather promptly. As you see it's actually not been added so that's a bit of a bug there but um, it's been changed so I can uh, view it, I can uh, see the entire tickets list and um, I can modify my alert settings if I don't want that anymore. But uh, notice that you have links all over the place here to go to the appropriate item, go to the settings and IT tickets. So these links are quite useful. So that's the alert for one item. Same thing goes for the list. You can set an alert on the entire list. And then of course the combination with the view is very, very powerful. Otherwise the settings are the same as those I showed you for alerts for an item. So that concludes my demo about alerts. In the next demo I'll show you another way of getting alerts or notifications on items in this tickets list. Thank you for watching.